What's up everybody, Viper FPV here, and today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to set up Betaflight 4.1 and Smart Audio. Um, some things have changed with Smart Audio, so it's a little more complicated than it used to be pre 4.1. Uh, the big thing being is that now you have to import a VTX table into the CLI, um, depending on what kind of VTX you're using. So let's go ahead and get to the bench. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to set up beta, um, set up smart audio first or tramp telemetry. Um, and then we'll go ahead and go over to beta flight and set everything up. All right, guys. So we're at the bench and we're going to do a real quick demonstration on how to go ahead and set up smart audio. So right here I have a five volt version of the TBS Unify and it pretty much has these plugs right here. So it has the five volt for the red then it has the black for ground, and then it has uh, yellow is going to be for video uh, from the flight controller to this. Um, and then we also have our smart audio wire. TBS a lot of times likes to use the white wires, but the way to know that you have smart audio is either on the packaging, it should say smart audio on there, um, or if you do have a TBS product and it doesn't say smart audio on this one, because it doesn't, I don't think it says anywhere on smart audio on this, but you can pretty much be rest assured if you have a TBS uh, Unify type of transmitter, either the HV, the, the one that uses like up to 6S voltage, or even like this little one that uses the 5 volt version, um, that it has smart audio on it. So, and you'll notice on the video transmitter itself, it just says audio, AUD on this one. Sometimes I'll say S um, smart audio, sometimes I'll just say S audio. Um, same thing with the flight controller too. Sometimes they actually have a specific spot where you want to, they want you to put it just because it's next to the VTX pins, like the video, the video and the, the power and ground. Um, in this case, on this flight controller, this is a CL Racing F7 maybe, I, I believe. I can't remember which flight controller this one is. But um, right here where I soldered it too, you can see a little glob of solder where I already kind of set it up right there. That's TX three so you want to use a tx pin any available tx pin on your flight controller so if you pretend you already have a whole bunch of stuff soldered up um, just look for a tx pin that is not occupying another uart so say you have a receiver and you have it i don't forget i think receive pins are over here on this flight controller um say you have a receive pin hooked up to a receiver you cannot use the tx pin for smart audio, it has to be separate. So it can't do two protocols on the same UART. So if you have that occupied by an RX pin on your receiver, then you need to find another UART that would be labeled UART two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, on your flight controller to go ahead and hook it up to. Um, since I don't have anything hooked up to this flight controller, and this is pretty much where it would go even if I did hook it up, we're using TX3 and it has to be a TX pin pad. Um, I did make a video a long time ago about if you don't have enough UARTs, where to hook up smart audio to, um, and that's to reassign some things in Betaflight, pretty much reassigning a pin um, using the LED pin, and I'll leave a link to that down below if you don't have enough UARTs. I think the Bardwell F4 flight controller is notorious for not having enough um, UARTs when you're using Crossfire, so I'll leave a link to that down below and that should help you guys out if you're looking to do that um, but if you have plenty of UARTs pretty much what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna solder it right to that so let me go ahead and do that real quick shouldn't even have to use anything here just like that good enough so that's soldered on there and that's pretty much it and the same thing goes for if you have tramp telemetry so if you have tramp telemetry, you would just hook up the telemetry wire that it has. I don't believe it says audio or anything. It just says uh, telemetry or um, IRC tramp telemetry or something like that effect on the actual flight controller um, VTX. I don't have one on hand to show you, but it will show you just going ahead and just wondering one wire, just like smart audio, right to that, to have any available TX pad on your flight controller. And it should be good to go. So let's go ahead and go to Betaflight real quick and show you what settings you need to change in that. All right, so we set everything up on the bench with our UART. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go over to the ports tab, just like before, pre 4.1. And we're going to find the UART that I used, which in my case, I used UART, 
basically this is UART. DX3. So I use UART3. And I'm going to go ahead and do is take that off because that's not where it's supposed to be and put VTX uh, TBS Smart Audio. Now, if you're using Tramp Telemetry, you're going to go ahead and use VTX IRC Tramp right here. So since I'm using a TBS Unify, I'm going to be clicking on Smart Audio. And there's other video transmitters, depending, it'll pretty much be labeled in the package which one it should be using. Um, if it's not, try both of them and see if it works. So then we went ahead and did that. And then what we have to go ahead and do is go over to the GitHub page. So go over to the GitHub, go ahead and go to releases. And then we're going to scroll down. I'll leave a link to this directly down below so you guys have it. The VTX tables, and then we're going to click on that right there. So in my case, I am using the TBS Unify 5.8. So that is the five volt version of the Unify. I believe this uses Smart Audio 1. So what we're gonna do is come down here and we see if we are using a Tramp telemetry device, we can go ahead and copy this. If we're using Smart Audio 1.0 or 2.0, and then this is another one that I'm not sure of. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, copy that to there. Click Control C, copy it. Then we're gonna go into the CLI and we're going to control V and hit enter and then save. And then it's going to reboot the board. We're connected. And then we go over to the video transmitter section and we have our channel set up here. We have pretty much the table and everything. So this is what you'll see in your OSD. You won't see this exact screen, but you'll see your channels to have you have it set up here. And you'll also have your whatever you want to set here as your default channel. So that's what I have here. I have my boss cam E channel four, 25 milliwatts for now. I'll change that probably later. And then we also have our other things here. Now, what really cool is, is that you can also change what frequencies you have. So if you want to remove a frequency that you don't ever use, just put in zero here. And then that will disable it. So if you put, say, if I wanted to disable F band or Fat Shark band, they call it, just click on zeros all throughout it and then click save. And then this won't show up in your um, OSD when you're trying to change your channels with um, VTX remote control. So that should do it with Betaflight 4.1 Smart Audio Setup. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment section down below. Um, one question I might get a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and answer this now. Um, if you go ahead and put your VTX tables in first, but don't enable a port, a Smart Audio or IRC Tramp Telemetry port on the UART section on the configuration uh, on the ports tab, you will not show anything in the video transmitter section. You have to go ahead and enable ports and also have the VTX table in there for you guys to see the video transmitter section. So just follow it how I've done it in this guide. Just do the ports tab first, then go ahead and do the VTX table second. Hit save, make sure you're saving everything, and then go ahead and go over the video transmitter section. You should be able to set up your video transmitter there. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, hope this guy's helped Hope this helped any of you guys out, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Like, subscribe, peace.